Webull offers an excellent mobile and desktop trading app loaded with features from completely customizable trading layouts to fee-free investing to a sign-up offer where you can earn 6 to 12 free shares of stock worth up to $30,600. Hey, my name is Ryan, and in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to get started trading stock on the Webull desktop version. So by the time you leave this video, you'll know how to confidently trade on the desktop version yourself. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to be placing two real life trades in my Webull account to buy stock. So you wanna stick around through the entire video so you don't miss out on those live trades. The first step that you need to make sure of is that you've not only signed up for Webull, but you've submitted your brokerage account application that has been approved and your account is open. I've left a link in the description and comment section below, which will take you directly to the Webull signup page so you can take advantage of those 6 to 12 free shares of stock after signing up and depositing as little as one cent into your new account. Jumping into the Webull app, you'll see seven tabs on the left side of the screen, including your watch list, stocks, markets, screener, account, paper trading tab, and then the last tab is a customized tab where Webull allows you to completely customize your trading layout. To get started trading stock, head up to the search bar on the top of the screen. Then you can enter the stock name or any other security you're looking to trade. Today, I wanna to submit two orders for a maximum of three shares of Nvidia stock. So I'm gonna enter NVDA, that's the ticker symbol for Nvidia and then you're brought to the stocks information page. Now, one of the great features about Webull is the comprehensive tools available to you. So for example, looking at the stock chart, we can add all sorts of indicators to this. For this video though, we're gonna keep it simple with just the price trend and volume information. Now you can also view the options chain. You can add your own customized notes to a specific stock or security. You can view news related to the stock, stock financials, analyst ratings, order flow, corporate actions, company reports, and profile and management information, as well as a summary of the industry that the stock operates in. On the right side of the screen, you'll see the order box. Now there are two tabs within this box, the trade and the active trade section. The active trade section is a great place to go if you're looking to really streamline the stock trading process, as you can buy and sell shares with a click of one button. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fill out the regular trade section so I can explain everything that you need to know about the entire trading process. For the first two shares of Nvidia that I'm going to buy, I'm going to place a market order. And for the last share, I'm going to place a limit order so you can see firsthand how both order types work. On the order submission page, I'm gonna make sure buy side is selected and change the order type from limit to market. I'm then going to change the quantity to two. And then to the right of that, you'll notice a button where you can change between percentage of available funds you have, shares, and specific dollar amount. Unfortunately, Webull only allows fractional share trading on the mobile app. So at this time, you can only enter a dollar amount that will add up to a full share of stock. Next is the time and force section. I'll explain this more when we submit a limit order, but for now, what you need to know is that when placing a market order, day is the only option. You'll then see the stop loss and take profit checkboxes. We're going to ignore those in this video and just cover a simple limit and market order as this video is geared towards beginners. Scrolling down, you'll then see the estimated amount that you're going to spend on the number of shares that you entered. Because this is a market order, which the price is always fluctuating, this number here may end up being a little bit different than what your order actually executes at. If you take a look at the top of the screen here, you'll see the total account value. If you hit that little drop down, you can see how much buying power you have available. So I currently have just over 616 dollars available so i know that i have enough to fund this nvidia order at this point i'm going to click buy nvidia make sure that the quantity the market type and the amount looks correct and when that looks correct you can hit buy and bam just like that we've successfully submitted a market order underneath the trade box you'll see the orders and position section let's go ahead and place a limit order and i'll explain what you're looking at here with a limit price you get to enter a specific price that you want to buy or sell shares at so let's say I'm not satisfied with the current market price of Nvidia, but I feel more comfortable and I expect at some point the price of Nvidia to drop to $120 per share. 
for the limit price, I'll enter 120. And then when I submit the order, I won't actually be buying the stock until the price of Nvidia drops to $120 per share or better. But what if Nvidia never reaches $120 per share? Well, that's where time in force comes into play. There are two options here. The first is day, which means that at the end of the trading day, the limit order that you place will cancel automatically if the price of the stock you're trading doesn't reach your desired limit price. Now, if you believe that a stock will reach your limit price over a longer period of time, you can choose the good until canceled option, which will keep your order open and fillable for up to 60 days, either until the stock's price reaches your limit price or until it hits that 60 days, the order expires and cancels automatically. For this purchase, I don't see Nvidia dropping to $120 per share today, so I'll select the good until canceled option. Now, the reason why that day is the only option when placing a market order is because a market order will typically fill almost immediately because you're willing to pay whatever the current market price is. Next is the extended hours option. Regular market hours run from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern time, and extended hours, pre-market and after hours run from 4 a.m. to market open and market close to 8 p.m. I'm going to allow this order to fill during extended hours and scrolling down, I can see the estimated amount that I'm going to spend if the order executes at my limit price. I can hit buy, make sure everything looks correct. Everything looks correct here. So let's go ahead and submit this order and bam, we've successfully submitted a limit order. That said, let's place an example sell limit order. Now, I don't actually wanna sell anything in my portfolio, so you're gonna to need to pretend with me that I own 10 shares of Apple stock, and I'm looking to sell half of my shares. So the first thing I'm gonna do is search for Apple in the top search bar here. This goes by ticker symbol AAPL. The market is now closed, but the last price was 138.88. I'm gonna make sure the sell side is selected, leave the order type as limit, change the quantity to five. But let's say I'm again, not satisfied with the current price and I wanna sell my shares of Apple when they reach $200 per share. I'm gonna change the limit price to $200. And this is quite a bit higher than the current market price of Apple. So it is going to take some time to fill if it even does within 60 days. Once I've entered the limit price, time and force, I'm gonna say good until canceled because again, it's definitely not gonna reach that um, during extended hours today. And then extended hours, I'll include yes here. I can then view the estimated amount that I'm going to receive if my order executes at the limit price that I set. Once everything looks correct, Correct to you, you can hit sell Apple and submit the order. Placing a buy and sell limit order are pretty similar, but you need to do the opposite. So with the buy order, you're always going to be choosing a limit price lower than the current market price, but with a sell limit order, you need to make sure that you choose a price that's higher than the current market price. Makes sense, right? Now remember that buy limit order I placed for the one share of Nvidia? Well, if you look down at the orders box under the working tab, we can see that open order. And then I also have an open order for two shares of Verizon. That's from the limit order I placed in my mobile app trading tutorial, which you can check out in my Weeble playlist. Clicking on the positions tab, you can view the stocks that you actually own in your portfolio. Now that you know how to trade stock on the Weeble desktop version, you'll want to check out this video here, which is a complete guide to getting started with your Weeble brokerage account.